So I just wanted to tell you how to relate Newtonian versus non-Newtonian. The scope of the course is only Newtonian flow, but it is actually pretty easy to compare it with a non-Newtonian fluid. So we can relate a non-Newtonian fluid pretty well if we have the graphs. If we don't have graphs, it is kind of impossible to relate. So the straight line, it's a non-Newtonian fluid, which of course you will expect in laminar flow to behave different and in turbulent flow to deviate. More stress, more deviation. So the Newtonian one, you know, classic. It's almost a very straightforward line. And actually the Newtonian versus the non-Newtonian is pretty similar when you have unbuffled because there is no stress, there's no shear stress, there is no differences. But once you get the baffles, they go and deviate. So actually the only deviation I would say it's the strongest deviation is when they are in, in laminar flow. Turbulent flow are pretty similar deviations. And of course you need to calculate for the non-Newtonian fluid and for the Newtonian fluid. The interesting part right here is that you need to calculate this fancy viscosity, which is a pseudo viscosity. We're not going to see that here because this is pretty much out of the scope of this course but once you got the pseudo viscosity or the Newtonian viscosity of a non viscosity is, let's say it's a viscosity that models the non-Newtonian fluid as if it were a Newtonian one so anyways you calculate your Reynolds number and then only then you can calculate the po a power number right here and once you got the power number go and find out the power requirements. The next section we're going to check out time of mixing. We've been calculating power, now it's time to study of course how much time we're going to require for a mixing. Or This was a free preview, you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video, you will get all access, not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.